This was a common scene in the 1980s as people abandoned their old music players for the personal stereo. Personal stereos burst onto the scene at the same time as mullets, microwave meals and Margaret Thatcher. Hello. They were a portable means of listening to music without other people having to hear it, which was especially great if you were mental and like shouting things out loud because people thought you were just listening to your music. Spunk bus, hot sauce. Uh, uh, uh. He's got a nice big one. Oh, it's just... <laughs> These days, people have abandoned personal stereos and used their phones instead. This allows them to combine the two most important millennial acts. Listening to music and taking pictures of their dicks. Oh, that's a nice one. Have you tried using the Clarendon filter? They're also no longer called personal stereos. This is because people in the immediate area are often able to hear just enough of the music to understand something is playing, although not enough to share any enjoyment of the music itself. Luckily, some young people are aware of this and are generous enough to share their music by playing it out loud. Thanks, mate. Sounds great. The quality of headphones has become so good that the person wearing them is often unaware of anything going on around them. As a non-listener, it is your responsibility to help them deal with these problems. If you want to make things even better, you can upgrade them to the next generation of wireless headphones. Happy listening!